Hey guys, it's Croak here and welcome to a new video and today we are going to be going over how to make millions every day in solo free mode. So if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe if you want to have more daily videos of how to make money, vehicle customizations, GTA 5 and GTA 6 updates. So guys, let's get into the video. All right, guys, in this step right now, we are going to go over how to get into a lobby by yourself always. So I'm on the PS5, so I got one just recently. So you're going to go to settings. All right, guys. And then you're going to go to network. All right. And then you're going to go to settings, set up internet connection. So you can do this on wired or on your home Wi-Fi. So all you're going to go to is at advanced settings. So the little button, the option button, advanced settings. So you want to go to MTU and you want to change that to 800. So it's usually going to say automatic. So you have to change it to manual and have it on 800. All right. So this will make it lag everyone out. So you're in a lobby by yourself. If you want to play with friends, you have to change this back to automatic guys. So that is a big thing. So you will always go into a lobby by yourself. If you have an 800. I will show you right now. So after this right here, so boom, and then we go into GTA five. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm in a lobby by myself, so it does work. So very, very simple way so you could sell or do whatever you need to do in order to just get ahead in GTA 5. So it's really nice to be in a lobby by yourself so you're not killed constantly. All right, guys, on to the next thing. All right, for this money making method, you want to head over to your arcade. So this one also makes you passive income. So let's check out the safe here and see how much money we already have. But we're gonna go actually downstairs is where the main hub is going to be so as you can see we got some money in there that's easy just passive income you want to have businesses that generate passive income because you just be playing the game with your friends and the business makes you money automatically so the arcade is a good way of getting that along with one of my favorite things about having the arcade is right here okay this is the main hub where it has all your businesses all connected to one so when you log in, if you have your MC businesses, they're all going to be on here. So let's take a look right here. So you have the nightclub, you have the gun running, you have the cocaine lockup, the meth lab, weed farm, all that good stuff all in here. So what you want to do is resupply any of your businesses, guys. So I'm going to register as a CEO and then you're going to go right into here. Click to enter. See, I made 9.3 mil off of my bunker here. So. All you want to do is resupply and you want to always steal the supplies. You don't want to buy them unless you're fully upgraded so you can easily sell what you have. And you can do that um, with a friend, with probably multiple friends, because with the, the bunker, you need to have at least three other people with you. But like a nightclub, you can just generally do that by yourself. So it's going to be one. You're only going to have one person needing to sell. And that's only uh, one truckload. So as you see, I made one point. Uh, I have 1.2 mil just chilling right in there and I have a 13 mil of earnings. So very, very easy uh, thing to do. So that is way number one, guys. So make sure you always have your stuff resupplied by stealing. All right, guys, the next money making method is personally my favorite is the agency payphone hits, guys. So what you want to do is do contracts at your agency to get this option unlocked because this will really help you out a lot. So you want to go to Franklin on your phone and you want to give him a call guys. So this is nice because anywhere in the map you can get a payphone hit rather than if you don't have enough contracts, it'll be if you fly over, if you drive by a, uh, or a payphone hit will open up. So by doing 20, I believe it's 15 to 20, uh, contracts that you can open these settings. You'll have the settings to call um, Franklin on his phone to request a payphone hit and even a security contract. So this is really, really nice. 
So go into that and a payphone hit will open up, guys. So this will be an easy, easy $85,000 if you do the whole contract through, all right? So you wanna go over to your payphone and then you wanna take that call. So please watch the whole video and like, comment, subscribe if you want more GTA 5 and 6 information, if you want vehicle customization, if you want daily uploads, guys, please, please subscribe, comment. What video do you wanna see next? So you don't even have to watch that whole payphone hit, but the one thing that is great about this is that you could do as many as you want with an hour. They usually take 46 minutes, all right, guys? When you are done with the payphone hit, all you have to do is go to your style, your accessories, and you want to change your style. All right, so pick anything, glasses, hats, and you want to select that back out because it saves the game. And then when you are done, you want to go to your main menu, and then you want to close out of that game and then go back into it, load back in, so you could do that payphone hit, guys. And you could do that over and over again. On the PS5, it only takes like a minute to load in, so um, I was easily making over 1.5 mil to 2 mil an hour doing that by myself. So all the money that I have right here, I made easy. I was, I was at 6 mil. I bought the the new Obey uh, wagon with that money. So it's really, really easy money, guys. Um, this is probably the easiest money making method in the game right now. Payphone hits. And it was double last week. So I was making like 140,000 each and every time within four to five minutes. That's insane, guys. So all you have to do is this a taxi one where you have to get the taxi? I believe it is. So you want to follow the instructions. So pick up the target in a taxi and drive them in the car crusher at the scrapyard. So with this one, um, it'll either pop up a question mark or with any of the taxi missions, you can call a taxi or call the police to get a police car. Um, so it's very, very easy. So let's, I mean, you could try calling the downtown cab so you don't have to fly out there. I'm pretty sure they won't let you do it, but we'll see. Okay, it does let you do it. So a cab will be on the way and you can just steal it and then pick up um, the person you're supposed to assassinate. So let's... Uh, Wait here a second and we'll do this. So I'll show you how literally easy it is, guys, to do this. So the thing you wanna do is you wanna follow instructions. So the assassination bonus is key because if you don't do it, it's $15,000 you're only gonna receive, not the 85. So pick up a target in a taxi and drive them into the car crusher at the scrapyard. So let's look around here. There should be a taxi on the way. I mean, if not, I can go pick one up at the question mark. So the question mark on the map is where they'll have it. Where is that good old question mark? Okay, right here will be a taxi. I mean, if it's not here, I can go pick it up and we can speed up the video. So, I mean. All right, so I'll go pick up the, uh, the taxi and then I'll fast forward to the money you make at the end and how much it actually uh, you make within the few minutes. All right, guys, so we're coming up on to the scrapyard here if I could find it uh, let me see here. It's right around the corner okay here we go so let's see how long it took me to make $85,000 so I was talking at the beginning so take that in consideration so here we go so you just bring the target to the scrapyard and boom you get some RP and you get $85,000 these are really really quick guys so Let's see how long that took. Seven minutes for $85,000. Let's do the math here. That's $12,000 uh, per minute, guys. So easy, so easy and you could do it. Remember, you could do it many, many times. Remember, change your appearance, whoops. So you're gonna go and change your appearance here. Go to style, accessories, and then after you're done, Change your appearance and it'll save the game and then you'll go back to the main screen and you'll close out of the game and go back into a new session. All right, guys. So again, payphone hits another great way to make a ton of money in a short period of time.
All right, the last and final way to make millions during solo session in GTA 5 Online is the agency, guys, and it's a security contract. So you wanna go into your agency and then go to your computer right here, and I will show you the breakdown of what you need to do. So you just press X and then go into uh, your computer. So you want to do the security contracts all right, so as you see, 53,000, already made $2.5 million. And this is how you also make passive income, guys. So when you do 200 contracts completed, you will make, you will generate $48,000 in around 50 minutes, guys. So easy, easy money. And right here, 53, 35, and 46. So doing one of these, very, very simple to do. And it adds on to passive income. So when you're just playing the game, with your friends, your buddies, you are making money. So you do that at the nightclub, uh, you do it with uh, the agency, and then also the arcade. So you have three businesses going passive where you don't have to do anything and make money. All right, guys. So that is the end of the video. So please comment, like, and subscribe, and have a great day, guys. All right, guys, the next way to make millions of dollars in the game. And also if you're just starting out is sourcing a vehicle out of your vehicle warehouse, guys. So stealing a vehicle, putting them in there, and then selling them is the fastest way solo if you're just starting out. It's also a great money maker, um, you know, if you're mid-level or even high-level, guys. So when you go into your computer, all right, you'll see all the vehicles that I have that I have stolen and that I have in here. So sort by value i already counted up how many i have i have 15 high-end cars these sell for 100k each so then the mid level and then the low level so what you want to do is steal as many cars as you want um, and then sell them but you want to pack your garage because this will be a way that you could always get top range cars so once you have your garage packed to the rim with cars you can go in there and then sell a top range car. And then when you go to source a vehicle, it'll just replace that because that's all that we have left here. So just make sure that your garage is fully packed, but you could always just do one or two if you wanna just do that. So then you can switch over to another business like sourcing uh, another vehicle, stealing it, or doing a resupply and MC or doing a payphone hit. You can do that in your free time and have like a revolving door of things. So you could always have something going on, making money and stocking up on things guys. So this will be the next way to make a lot of money is sourcing a vehicle and then selling it. Always want to do top range because you can sell for hundred K each and you can also bring a friend and do two at the same time. But you got to make sure when you are doing it to make sure you don't crash and that you are a good driver. So if you're not a good driver and you want to work your way up to getting a better driver, start out with the low range or the mid range, even standard range or uh, mid range. So you can work on your driving skills. So this is also a great uh, way to get your driving skills up guys.